Thank you for calling the Starfinder help desk. Goat King speaking. What seems to be the problem? Your gyro lasers keep jamming? That's odd. First thing I want to mention, there's a helpful cheat sheet I found on Reddit. I will have that linked in the description, as well as an updated version of it in my Discord, also linked in the description. As the gunner, from your character sheet, you will need either your base attack bonus or your ranks in the piloting skill, as well as your dexterity modifier. And at higher levels, you'll need to know how many resolve points you have. From the ship sheet, you need to know your guns. You need to know what arcs they are, what range they have, what damage they put out, and what their properties are. It'd be good for you to have these written down on note cards that you can keep during the combat, because there is a lot of information to keep track of there. As the gunner, you'll be repeatedly rolling gunnery checks. And that is 1d20 plus either your base attack bonus or your ranks in the piloting skill, plus your dexterity mod, and plus any miscellaneous bonuses you get from your crew or computer during the combat. When rolling your gunnery checks, you are rolling against your enemy's armor class for direct fire weapons or target lock for tracking weapons, such as missiles. As a gunner, you have four actions you can take during combat, only one of them being a push action. Push actions can only be performed if the system you're using for the action is not malfunctioning or wrecked. In your case, the system you'll be using for any individual push action is the weapon arc that you're firing the weapon from. Your bread and butter is the shoot action. And this should be fairly self-explanatory. You choose one weapon in an arc facing the enemy ship. That includes any weapons in your turret, and you roll a gunnery check against the enemy's armor class or target lock. Your second action is fire at will. You shoot any two weapons from any arcs on your ship. They have to be two different weapons, and on each attack, you take a minus four to your gunnery check. Your third action is broadside. You will unlock this action at level six. Broadside is your push action, and it costs one resolve point to perform. You fire all weapons in any one arc, including your turret weapons, at any enemy in that arc, with a minus two on each attack. Your final action is precise targeting. You unlock this one at level 12, and it costs one resolve point to perform. You fire one weapon. If that weapon hits an unshielded arc on your enemy, you immediately deal critical damage in addition to any critical damage your attack normally would have done. If you fired precise targeting, rolled a natural 20, and passed one of the enemy's critical thresholds, that would be three criticals in one action. Thank you again for calling the Starfinder help desk. Now that your laser stabilizers are well-tuned, you shouldn't have any more trouble with those gyro lasers.